Hi everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Liz again and today I have another video for you and it is all about Tarte's brand new Showstopper palette. Um, I got mine, I ordered mine from Sephora about a week ago, it cost $38 and I got it a few days ago and I have been wearing it and playing with it ever since and today I do have it on my face, I have it on my eyes and on my cheeks and if you're interested uh, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the box it comes in. Again it is called the Showstopper palette um, and the first thing that comes out is one of these and it is one of the sort of get the look kind of instructional deals and then the actual palette is one of the beautiful round palettes looks like this it's got this purple faux snake skin on it very lovely and when you open it up very unfortunately it's got this stupid stupid insert in it that i have been chasing around and making sure i held on to so that i could uh use it for this video but i'm telling you when this video is done i am promptly throwing this away because I'm so tired of chasing this thing around. I really wish the Tarte would print their, the names on the palette. I know everybody does. Everybody hates these, so I don't know. Tarte needs to, to get that together. Okay, so here is, again, the beautiful palette. Open it up. It's got a great big, huge, giant mirror down here. And there is the beautiful palette. It has six eyeshadows, one of which is matte. The rest are either like sparkly or metallic. And then you've got a bronzer and a highlighter. Now, the name of the blush is called uh, Fame. The highlighter is called Pink Champagne. And the bronzer is their Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And I am very dark skinned, and as it turns out, the bronzer actually does work fairly well on my dark skin, so that is a pleasant surprise. Okay, so I have already swatched these for you, and um, it is, I, I want to say beforehand that these eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful. Um, the glitter and the metallicness of them is really subtle and really pretty, and the shadows are really smooth, 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 smooth. Not so much buttery, but just like smooth and lovely. They blend beautifully, and this is a, you know, they're nice and pigmented, and this is a really beautiful palette. And I feel like I've got a few by Tarte, and I feel like um, this is uh, the best one quality-wise so far. Okay, so, and as usual, um, my little camera does not do makeup the justice it deserves, but here are the swatches. So, we have got, actually I was going to start over here. This is called Showstopper Copper, and it, you know, oddly enough, you can't tell on my camera, but it's a metallic coppery color. Then we've got uh, Go For The Gold, which is a metallic gold color. And it's actually close to my actual skin color, which is why it's hard to see. And then we've got uh, Bear It All, which is the one nude, or excuse me, matte in the whole thing. Excuse me, it is not called Bear It All. That's from the Poppy Picnic palette. This is called You're A Natural. So we've got, sorry, we've got Showstopper Copper, Go For The Gold, and You're A Natural. And then we've got over here uh, Dim the Lights, which is a gorgeous, deep, deep chocolate brown that has a bit of sparkle in it, and it is just so pretty in real life. And then we've got, uh, what is it? Rose? Rose to the Top. Rose to the Top, which is a phenomenally beautiful rose gold. And of course, you cannot tell on my camera, but in real life, it is such a pretty, pretty eyeshadow. And then that very last one down there is called Steal the Scene. And Tarte describes it as a steel taupe. And it is a absolutely stunning metallic taupe. Now, again, you know, looking at them right here on my camera, they are not nearly as beautiful on here as they are in real life. Take my word for it. These are beautiful, beautiful shadows. Okay, and over here I have swatched the blush called Fame, which, to be honest with you, uh, when I ordered this palette, I didn't think I would like the blush and that I would use it. Um, 
And when I got it, again, I thought it was ugly and I wouldn't use it, but just for shits and giggles, I tried it on and I love it. It's totally cute and um, an adorable blush and I absolutely love it. So that's great. So again, that is Fame. It is a very bright sort of tangerine peachy blush. Then we've got, um, you've got your highlight in Pink Champagne and you can see that sheen there, metallic sheen. And then this is the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which is very close to my skin tone, and so it's difficult to see. But that is your blush, highlighter, and bronzer. And uh, again, they're all very smooth, very pigmented, and very beautiful. Definitely worth um, the $38 that this palette costs. Um, I believe it was actually already out of stock um, on Sephora's website a couple days ago, um, and they'll probably get it back in stock. Um, it did say limited edition, I believe, but um, it was only up for like, I don't know, maybe a week before it, uh, before it went out of stock, so I don't know. I assume they'll bring it back. It's quite popular, obviously. So that is, um, and it is part of Tarte's Summer 2015 collection. And that is it. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you guys. It's just a beautiful, smooth, pigmented, lovely palette with beautiful colors. The blush is gorgeous. And yeah, it's a great deal. So I suggest you go out and grab one as soon as they are back in stock. I don't know, perhaps Ulta has these. Um, probably, I'm sure Tarte on the website has them. Oh, I'm very uninformed today. I'm sorry, you guys. But that is all I have to say about this wonderful palette. And please comment and subscribe. Have you gotten one? Do you like it? Are you thinking about getting it? Have you gotten anything at all from the Tarte Summer Collection? Because I have a few other things. And um, I did a video about the Poppy Picnic palette. So if you want to see that, just look it up under Elizabeth Feig. And that is all. Again, please comment and subscribe. I would love to hear from you. I make all kinds of videos all the time, so please come visit me again, and I will see you there. All right. Bye, YouTube. Mm -hmm.